Baby Lou, Baby Lou. It's Radio Roo, and it's coming to you. We're the meanest DJs in town. We're the stars of the airwaves. We're funky folk that hair raise. Get down. Yeah, get down. To Roo, Baby Lou, Baby Lou, Baby Lou. That means you, you, you. you. Baby, you, baby, you Tune baby, in too. right now. Turn on to Radio Roo. Radio Roo. Switch that set on now. Yo. Oh, three more here, Denny Kins. Hey. Oh, oh. Oh, well, thanks, Lemmy Chucks. Uh, oh, hey, messages of congratulation from the Aussie mob. Yes, Rolf, Kylie and Jason. <laughs> Brilliant. And I've got here our, uh, our tapes of the interview with the Prime Minister. And here is the new Radio Roo signature tune written by Elton John. Elton John? <laughs> Brilliant! Uh, 9.30, another half an hour to go. And our special celebratory show goes out to the people of Bricktown. Yeah, who'd have thought, Denny Kings? Radio Roo is two years old today. Yes. No thanks to those killjoys out the council who tried to close us down. Mm. Oh, by the way, Denny Kings, yeah. guess what I've heard? What's that? There's a new lady in charge at the town hall now. Mm -hmm. Mrs Lovett, her name is. They say she's a real nasty bit of work. <laughs> We've seen off the others. We'll see her off too, yes. Nothing is going to interfere with us. Oh, Cuddleton, you are a real champ. Oh. <laughs> kissy, kissy, kissy! Where's Clyde? Oh! Oh, I don't know. <sighs> Splish, splash, I was taking the back, cos my belly button's up on <laughs> Ah, boy, I love a good soak. What's this? Essence of cactus root. Ugh, must be Margaret. Pirates of the Port Bow, Captain! <laughs> uh, uh, oh no! Oh no! It's got me! Uh, I've been attacked by a savage killer whale! It's got me by the throat! Hi. <laughs> That's all right then. I've subdued the beast. <laughs> Look, I wasn't talking to you, all right? Clive, our special birthday programme goes on air in half an hour. Oh, boy. I bet the entire population of Bricktown will be on tenderhooks, mate. Yeah. You can see them now. Sitting by their radios, counting down their seconds. Fingers poised over the tuning dials. <laughs> 25 minutes to blast off. So, that two-bit no-good excuse for a radio station is two years old today, eh? Well, oh, that's two years too many, if you ask me. Oh, I've heard all about those time wasters, littering the town with a brew rap rubbish. It's noise pollution, that's what it is, and it goes against the council's regulations. Oh, you're dead meat, boys. This is one burnt whose goose you will not cook. Mrs. Lovett, the crone from the council, has got a surprise birthday present for you. Oh, such a shame no one's going to hear your special celebratory program, thanks to this little pile of technological wizardry. Oh, I love it! You off, Cherry Flame? Oh, yes, Denny Kins. Oh. I'm going to get off home now, put my feet up and listen to your programme in comfort with a plate of winkles and a pot of noodle. Right, oh, you better get a move on then. We're on air in 15 minutes if Clive Earl gets out of the bath. <laughs> hey, good luck, Denny. Ta-ta. Oh. Ta-da. Oh, almost there. Oh. Position the jamming radar four degrees south by southwest of the intended target's transformer reactor feed and calibrate the minimum access range for a maximum trajectory shuttle input. Oh, where's the dictionary? Great Scott, only three minutes to go. Nearly time, Clive. Three minutes to go. Quack, quack. Mm. Mm. Oh, three minutes to go. Oh, so that's what the instructions mean. Well, why did they not just say, put it near the window? Oh, it would make life so much easier. Right. All systems, go! Oh! Oh! I love it, Tippets! Oh, God, that one boils! Another 30.
30 seconds to go, Clive, and Radio Roo hits the airwaves. Put your cans on. Clive? Oh, all right, right. then. We'll take that silly hat off first. Right. What's the matter with your ears? <sighs> well, I washed them last night, Dan. I can't do a thing with them now. <laughs> you big donut. You're right, stand by with Elton's new theme tune. Uh, right. 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 Hi, Roo fans, this is DJ Dennis. And DJ Clive getting, getting down, down with, with the jive. OK, Clive, hit me with it. Right. Um, <laughs> don't, don't take oh. <laughs> From us to you, it's Radio Roo, and Radio Roo is too. Yahoo! <laughs> oh, what's the matter with this Duffy radio? Why can't I hear my Dennykins? What's happened to Radio Roo? Oh. Oh. It works! It works! Another nail in your coffin, deadbeats. I love it! Congratulations! <laughs> Oh, it's going really well, isn't it, Clive, eh? Oh, what yeah, mate, team? yeah. <laughs> oh, pick this up, we could be in line for a major award. Yeah? What about best radio station in Brigtown, eh? Yeah! Yeah. yeah. We're the only radio station in Brigtown. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Radio Roo, Clive's... Yeah, well, well, of course we're broadcasting your pelican. I mean, this is our special birthday show. Hey, eh? Are you serious? All right. <laughs> What? Well, apparently we're not getting through, then. That was Mario from the deli. He says all he can get over his radio is a yucky squeak. Hello, radio... What? You too? Uh, right, yeah, right. Mrs Screwloose can't get us, either. Uh, hey, check the aerial, then. Hey, good idea. I hope Dennis has remembered to switch the equipment on. <laughs> Can you see anything wrong with the aerial, then? Not a sausage. You mean the sausage has fallen off? Oh, no. Well, of course it won't work, then. <laughs> Daddy Kins, Clive, you're not coming over. Yeah, we know that, Einstein. Oh, listen. Look, see? Oh, maybe it's a Roger Whittaker record. No. That's the sound that every radio broadcaster dreads. I heard it on Blue Peter. You mean it's Bonnie? No. Radio Roo. He's being jammed. I wonder what this sticky spot was. <laughs> so, uh, how many people do you think would want to jam Radio Roo, then? Uh, well, we got these so far, but we haven't quite finished yet. Oh, just a few, then. Oh, it's, it's useless. It could be anybody. Foreign spies, jealous competitors. Most of our listeners. Yes. Let's face it, we're out of business. Oh, no, you're not. I'm not going to stand by and watch my Dennykins go down the tubes. We are going to face this thing and beat it. <laughs> no more of this namby-pamby talk. Are you listening? Yes, yes. We are British, after all. Who is? Let's see some of the old bulldog spirit. Let's march proudly under the flag of freedom. Let's go and see Mrs Lovett. Well, the new werewolf from the town hall. Well, you must be wacko, Megs. Oh, if anyone can stop the jamming, she can. They say she only has to burp and the whole of Bricktown jumps. I reckon she'll put her finger straight on the problem. <laughs> oh, start spreading the news. They're leaping today. They'll have to start a brand new radio room a million miles away. Who is it? Room service, with your straight jacket. Oh, the kangaroo. Oh, bother. I'll be right there. Margaret, she's never going to help us. She doesn't even like us. Oh, don't be so defeatist, Dennykins. She's paid to help the public. Yeah, so is a dentist. Hmm. Oh, why, Dennis? Clive! And whatever your name is, there's nothing wrong, is there? Someone's jamming our equipment. Yeah, listen, Mrs. Lavy, and no one can tune into us. Thousands of listeners have phoned in. Oh, to thank you. No, to complain, you old trout. Oh, well, I'm sorry, but I'm much too busy to help. In fact, you could say I'm quite jammed up with work. Well, what's that funny bleeping noise? Bleeping yeah. noise? 
Oh, uh, well, we're having the officer swept for landmines. You see, it's a new security measure. Good day. Yeah, right. See, I told you she wouldn't care tuppence. Mmm, I smell a rat. Yeah? <laughs> he smells all right to me. <laughs> Diamond <laughs> cheek! <laughs> that was a close shave. Time to move base camp. Well, better go home, I suppose. Could always call into the job centre on the way. I reckon Mrs. Lovett is up to something, you know. Dead right, Mags. What does she need a wheelbarrow for? Hey! hey. Maybe she's taking up indoor gardening. Yeah, maybe I'm Kermit the Frog. What's she up to in there? Look out, she's coming. Right, time to get you safely hidden, my beauties. Oh, look, she's dropped something. How to jam radio signals. Oh, this Mrs. Lovett. She's the phantom jammer. Ah, uh, my bag's first crack at her. <laughs> oh, come on, don't let her get away. She's going to wire the jamming gear. Yeah. What is it? Hey, look over there. Delbert Lovett's Donut Factory. Oh, straight, the whole family's in on it. Right. Let's settle her hash, guys. <gasps> no one will ever find my equipment up here in the roof. Oh, I love it. There she is. Where? Up there. <gasps> hey, leave this to me. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Is this what you're looking for, lady? <gasps> Boom! <gasps> oh, dear. Was it something I said? <laughs> oh, what was that giant splash just now? Don't know. <laughs> Sheriff Clive has confiscated all our equipment, blokes. Brilliant! You mean, Mrs. Lovett is no longer in the jamming business? Uh, well, I wouldn't exactly say that, Din. <laughs> Take a look behind you. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh! I hate you! I hate you! <laughs> oh, why's she got all over her? Well, this is a donut factory, right? Right. So what do you put in donuts? Jam! <laughs> we can safely say she's well and truly jammed. <laughs> <laughs> this is Radio Roo saying toodly ho. We hope you enjoyed the show. Now time has run out, so it's over and out. From Dennis and Clive to you. We're the first with the news. And the first with your views. You, you know, know that you'll hear it from us. Where there's a story, where there's a scoop, we'll, we'll always be there. there. No fuss. <laughs> Radio Room. Radio Room. Wonderful Radio Room. G'day. <laughs>